。はい。Welcome to a series of solving quadratic equations. My name is Steve Chow, and I'm one of the math instructors at Pierce College. In this video, I will show you guys three examples on how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring. So check this out. First of all, we are going to make sure that we want to have the equation in the standard form. Namely, we want to have ax squared plus bx plus c, and we have to make sure this is equal to zero. And when we have this right here, we can just go ahead and factor out this trinomial. And you have to know. How to factor the trinomials really, really well. You can also check out the video in the description. I have shown you guys four popular ways on how to factor a trinomial, right? And then you see that usually when we factor this out, we will end up with two factors. Sometimes we may have one, but that's okay, right? And then once we have this done, be sure we put the first factor to be zero. Or the other case is that we also make the second factor to be zero, and then we just need to solve this. And then solve that. And now let's check out this first example. Here we have x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to zero. And we see that we have this zero right here on the right hand side already, right? So we are ready to go, isn't it? We can just go ahead and factor this out. And this is not bad at all because we only have a one in front of the x squared, isn't it? And with that being said, to factor this, we can just go ahead. And put down two parentheses like this, and then I can also put down x and x right here, because we know x times x will give us x squared, isn't it? And now we have to look at this number, which is positive eight, and we have to ask ourselves, what times what will give us positive eight? Well, we know one times eight is positive eight, two times four is also positive eight, right? We have to make sure that we choose these two numbers so that. When you add them up, you get plus the six. Therefore, the correct combination is going to be plus two, plus four. And the reason is because you see, plus the two times plus the four will give us plus the eight. Two plus four will give us plus the six, isn't it? So this is the correct choice of the factors. And now this is still equal to zero right here. And by the way, the order doesn't matter if you want to put down. Plus four here, plus two here. That's totally fine. And as you can see, we achieved it the second step. Then we can just go ahead and put down the first factor, x plus two, and we set this equal to zero. Or the other case is that we write down the x plus four, and we also make this equal to zero. How can we solve this? X plus two is equal to zero. We can just go ahead minus two on both sides, so they can be cancelled in. And then we see that x will be by itself, and this is equal to zero minus two. Of course, it's just going to be negative two like that. On the other hand, same thing. We can just go ahead and minus four on both sides, cancel, cancel, and we see that we will just have x equals to negative four. And here are the two solutions that we have for this equation. And now let's check out the second example. And this is what we have. 3x squared minus 8x is equal to zero, and even though we only have two terms right here, but it's okay, because the C value in our situation is just equal to zero. And the truth is that as long as the right hand side is equal to zero, we can just go ahead and factor out the left hand side, all right? And now the question is, how can we factor out 3x squared minus 8x? Well, both terms have an x, right? So we can factor out the common factor x. Let's put that in the front, and then open the parentheses like this. For the first term, we originally had the three x squared, but we factor out this x, so we will have three x to the first power. And then here we had the negative eight x, but we factor out this x, so we just have the minus eight right here. And real quick, whenever you just factor a common factor x, you can go ahead and distribute this back, and you see. X times three x that will give us three x squared back. X times negative eight that will give us negative eight x back. That means we did this right. So we still write this down and put this down equal to zero. And remember, you see, we factor out the first factor and the second factor. We achieved the second step. Be sure you put down the first factor equal to zero. This is just an x, but you still have to account for that as well. X is equal to zero. 
And the second factor is the 3x minus 8. And we write this down and we put this equal to 0 also. This is done. x is by itself and it's equal to 0 already. For this one, 3x minus 8 is equal to 0. We have to add the 8 on both sides. So they cancel. And then we will have the 3x right here. And that's equal to 0 plus 8 is just 8. 3 times x is equal to 8. What can we do to solve x? Well, we just have to divide by 3 on both sides. And cancel, cancel. x is equal to 8 over 3. And it's okay if you leave the answer like this. And therefore, we found our two answers. The first one is x is equal to 0. And the second one is x is equal to 8 over 3, just like that. And now let me show you guys the last example. For this one, we have 2x squared minus 7x is equal to 4. Well, this is equal to 4. That's no good, because we want to have a 0 on one side, isn't it? How can I get rid of this 4 right here? This is a positive 4. Therefore, as long as I minus 4 on both sides, the right-hand side will be equal to 0. And that's the 0 that we want. And now, let's write down what we have right here. Put this in order that we want, 2x squared, and then minus 7x, and then the minus 4. All this will be equal to 4 minus 4, which is 0. And now, this is the form that we want. And then we can just focus on factoring the left-hand side. This trinomial is slightly harder to factor because we have this 2 in front of the x squared. But be sure you check the video in the description because I show you guys four popular ways on how to factor out a trinomial like this, all right? And the way that I want to demonstrate with you guys in this video is that I will show you guys with the tic-tac-toe method, like this. That's the setup. And how this works is the following. We have to figure out these two boxes, and we have to ask ourselves, what times what will give us 2x squared? 2x and x, right? So let's put that down, 2x times x. And I will come here and I will ask myself, what times what will give us negative 4? And for this one, we have some choices. 2 times negative 2 will give us negative 4. 1 times negative 4 will maybe negative 1 times 4. All of them will give us negative 4, isn't it? Well, I would like to just put down the correct combination and at the correct place for you guys in this video, you can see the detailed explanation in the video in the description, okay? So go watch that. In this case, let me put down 1 right here and negative 4 right here. And let me show you this is correct by the following. To do the check, we will just take the 2x and cross multiply with this number here, which is negative 4. 2x times negative 4, that will give us negative 8x, isn't it? And then we'll take the 1, and we also cross-multiply with the x. 1 times x will give us plus the x. At the end, we'll combine the like terms in the middle. Negative 8x plus x, that will give us negative 7x. And this match with that, so we got the correct combination at the correct places. Once again, we cross-multiply to check like this. And now, this is how we will write down the answer, though. We will write the answer when we read it across, all right? So the first factor, it will be 2x, and this is plus the 1. So we will have 2x plus 1. We read it across for the answer. The second factor is going to be x minus 4, like that. And, of course, we still have to put down the equal to 0. And we did the factoring for the second step. Now, for the last part, we just put this down, 2x plus 1 equal to 0. And the other case is x minus 4 equal to 0. To solve this, that's just minus 1 on both sides. And then we will have 2x equals to negative 1. And then divide by 2 on both sides. So they cancel, and we will have the first answer, x equals to negative 1 half, like that. The other case right here, we can just add a 4. Add a 4, cancel this out, and we will have x is equal to 0 plus 4. That's positive 4, like that. 
and we got our two answers right here. Hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful and be sure you guys watch my next video. I will show you guys how to solve a quadratic equation by taking the square root on both sides. And also, if you have any question, you can leave a comment down below and let us know. And be sure you subscribe before you go. That's it. Bye.